Hello, my name is Phil Pereira, and I'm the Emergency Ultrasound Coordinator at the New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. And welcome to Soundbites Cases. In this Soundbites module entitled Part 2 of Bedside Ultrasound of the Gallbladder, we're going to go further on to our discussion of gallbladder sonography. Hopefully, first of all, you've reviewed Part 1 in the series and have a basic understanding of how to perform the right upper quadrant exam and also how to interpret the images that you will obtain. In this module, entitled Part 2 of Gallbladder Sonography, we're going to focus specifically on the spectrum of gallstone-related disease beginning with the deposition of cholesterol crystals, known as gallbladder sludge, and microlithiasis onto the ultrasound findings with large stone concretions that may cause biliary colic and acute cholecystitis. Here's a video clip from a patient who presented with right upper quadrant pain, and we see here the gallbladder in the middle of the image. Let's look towards the neck of the gallbladder, and we appreciate a fluid level that's made up of gallbladder sludge. We see here that the gallbladder sludge is tucked in there towards the neck of the gallbladder, but we see crystals moving up towards the fundus and towards the body of the gallbladder. I'd like to make a couple points with regard to gallbladder sludge, and the first is that occasionally beam artifact can masquerade as gallbladder sludge. However, sludge is going to be defined as having a fluid level that go is going to layer out with gravity. Also, remember that gallbladder sludge can occasionally cause symptoms of acute biliary colic and acute cholecystitis in patients, so it's not a benign finding. Here's a video clip from a young male presenting with right upper quadrant pain, and as we're looking through the gallbladder, we notice here a finding within the neck of the gallbladder. We see here a concretion of gallbladder sludge and also tiny gallbladder stones known as microlithiasis. Notice that the microlithiasis has a posterior acoustic shadowing due to the blocking of sound waves through the concretions of the cholesterol crystals. So, an interesting finding on the spectrum of gallbladder disease. Here's another video clip, again from a male presenting with right upper quadrant pain, and what we see here is a gallbladder in the middle of the image, and notice the layering out of multiple small stones on the back wall of the gallbladder. We see the characteristic appearance of a gallstone here, notice it has a hyperechoic or bright appearance, and we can see shadows coming off the back as the sound waves can't permeate the hard cholesterol crystals. Here's a still image showing the classic appearance of an impacted stone at the gallbladder neck. Here we're looking through the lateral intercostal view so we get a nice long axis view of the gallbladder. We can see here a gallstone that's located within the neck of the gallbladder. Notice that it has the classic bright or hyperechoic appearance and we see the hard shadow, the blackout of sound waves posterior to the gallstone. Interestingly enough, as we rolled the patient around and inspected the gallstone, the gallstone failed to move, showing that it was impacted and the cause of the patient's biliary colic. Here's a video clip showing an impacted stone at the gallbladder neck, again taken from that lateral intercostal view that gives us those great long axis views of the gallbladder. We see the liver to the top of the image and the gallbladder inferior to the liver. Towards the neck of the gallbladder we see a white hyperechoic gallstone and we see the classic posterior acoustic shadowing. As we mentioned in Module 1, it's always important to look at the gallbladder in two orientations. Here we've moved the patient into the left lateral decubitus position and we're looking from the subcostal plane. Again, we see the gallbladder stretched out inferior to the liver, and within the neck of the gallbladder we see the hyperechoic bright gallstone, and notice also the posterior acoustic shadow. As we press down on this gallbladder, the patient had a lot of pain confirming a sonographic Murphy's sign. Here we're going to change the orientation of the probe into a short axis configuration. The probe is located in the subcostal plane with the marker over towards the patient's right. Thereby we're cutting the gallbladder into cross sections so the gallbladder will appear as a circle on the ultrasound screen. We see here a gallstone, that hyperechoic area within the gallbladder lumen, and again the posterior acoustic shadowing confirming the presence of a gallstone. Here's a video clip taken from an elderly patient with acute right upper quadrant pain. We're scanning back and forth through the gallbladder. This view is taken from that lateral intercostal view. And we see here the presence of multiple shadowing gallstones within the lumen of the gallbladder. So the end result of cholesterol deposition within the gallbladder forming multiple stones within the gallbladder lumen. And we can see here as we scan back and forth the multiple hyperechoic foci with a posterior acoustic shadow. 
Here's an interesting video clip from another patient with acute right upper quadrant pain, and we see a distended gallbladder stretching across the, the screen here, the fundus located towards the right, and the neck over towards the left. Within the lumen of the gallbladder, we see multiple gallstones layering across the back wall of the gallbladder, and notice that they have almost like a small pea-like type appearance. And we can see also the posterior acoustic shadowing as we scan back and forth through the gallstones. So, multiple gallstones within a distended gallbladder. A sonographic finding that can be seen with a gallbladder that's completely filled with stones and in a contracted state is the wall echo sign. And here we see an example of the wall echo sign, long axis to the left and short axis view to the right. What we see here is the gallbladder filled with stones and all we see is the anterior wall of the gallbladder, the echo from the concretion of stones and the shadow off the back of the stones making the sign. Thus the wall echo sign, pathognomonic for a gallbladder completely packed with stones and a contracted state. And it can be occasionally difficult to find the gallbladder when all you see is the wall echo sign. One potential pitfall in performance of right upper quadrant sonography is that occasionally a loop of bowel may come right up against the wall of the gallbladder and be mistaken for a gallstone. Let's take a look at two video clips that show the difference between these two appearances. In the video clip to the left, we see a loop of bowel that's right up against the posterior wall of the gallbladder. Notice that it has a bright or hyperechoic appearance that could be mistaken for a gallstone. However, the loop of bowel is clearly outside the gallbladder wall and not inside as a gallstone would be. Also, let's look at the shadows that come off the back of the air-filled bowel. What we see is that there are dirty shadows, as I characterize, that are not completely dark as those that would be seen off of a gallstone. Notice that there's areas of white within the dark areas characterizing a dirty shadow. Let's take a look at the video clip to the right, and what we see here is an impacted gallstone at the neck of the gallbladder. Notice that it has a hyperechoic appearance that shadows, and that the gallstone is clearly within the lumen of the gallbladder. And we see the shadow that comes off the back is a clean shadow, completely dark, without those light areas that characterize air shadows. My conclusion points for this Sound Bites module going over part two of bedside ultrasound of the gallbladder. Hopefully through this module you now understand the ultrasound imaging findings in the spectrum of gallstone disease that may be seen in patients presenting to the emergency department with abdominal pain. I hope also that you can identify the presence of biliary sludge or microlithiasis that can be seen as the first finding is of deposition of cholesterol crystals onto the identification of large gallstone concretions. And last, I look forward to seeing you back as Sound Bites continues and as we go on to Gallbladder Sonography Part 3 that will focus entirely on the ultrasound findings in acute cholecystitis.